Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, today we're talking about the hangar business. And this is a great video, man. Go ahead and drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future content like this. It's gonna be a banger. Yes, the hangar business has had a major overhaul and upgrade. It is now 100% solo friendly. You can source crates solo. You can sell a full hangar with 50 crates solo, which before was possible, but extremely difficult. And if you got certain missions, it actually was not possible. You had to have people help you out. So the hangar business is actually a extremely viable business now. It's one of the top businesses and ways to make money in GTA 5 online. And this week it's double cash money, so you are raking in a ton of cash, all right? Let's go ahead and start with the source missions first. Let's take a look at those. So when you log into your computer in the office and then you go to the free trade shipping company site and you wanna focus on the top three categories, the narcotics, chemicals, or medical supplies. Just to keep it simple, just pick narcotics, right? And then when you go to source, it'll give you an option, cancel, air, or land. So obviously you wanna pick land, right? So you select land and the most difficult of the land source missions is probably the barge, right? This mission, you have to go out there, you have to go to a barge, you have to uh, release the crate, which is stuck on this magnetic grapple right here. And then you have to use the Aviza submarine to pick up the crate and deliver it to a different location. Now this source mission is not difficult, it's just a little bit more time consuming but it still only takes about eight minutes. And on average, these land source missions only take about five to six minutes. It's really not that big of a deal, all right? Now, when you go to pick up the crate, if you're using the submarine and you've parked your Mark II on the barge, make sure you send your Mark II back because the barge will disappear and your Mark II will be destroyed. So send it back, jump into the sub, just go on down, pick up the crate, and then it'll just have you deliver it to a truck that's waiting and this particular mission has a couple of different spots either over here by the docks or up in the alamo sea right so really not that big of a deal not too difficult but it's a really cool tip a little trick any of these vehicles that you have to use for the source crates that have like multiple crates in them you can just blow the vehicle up and your crates will pop out now as you see here we're doing this with friends we're in a rotation right this is really the best method you get multiple people into a rotation, you each take turns sourcing each other's crates, and it goes by really quick, and you'll be able to source 50 crates in no time. But again, all this is 100% solo, all right? Uh, some of the other source missions, again, real simple. This particular mission will have you blow up a generator, which is on the side of the building. It'll open the door, you will go in, and you just pick up your crate, and you're good to go. You just dip on out on your Mark II, your Sparrow, your Karuma, your F-160, whatever, right? and you go on back to the warehouse. Uh, another mission, you'll have to go take out some bad guys and there'll be a trailer that you have to pick up. But again, you don't have to actually haul the trailer. You can just blow it up and the crates will pop out. Pick them up and you're on your way out. And then again, just like I was uh, showing you before, if you get a vehicle that you can just blow up, do that, the crates will spawn and you don't have to worry about driving a slower vehicle or whatever. You can just be on your way. But this is good if you want to do a more traditional type kind of grind and just use vehicles only. You can still do that. There'll be another source mission where Rooster needs some help. He'll call you. He'll say, crazy bird to Buckethead, right? And on this particular mission, he is talking a lot and your checkpoint goes away. There's a different location you have to go to. So as soon as Rooster starts talking, just call Lester. As soon as Lester picks up, it will show you the new location. It'll kind of skip that dialogue, which takes like 20, 30 seconds. So definitely do that. And on other source missions, they're as simple as just going to a location and picking up the crate and you're out. All right. So really simple, really easy. Now let's talk about the bread and butter. Let's talk about the sell missions. And yes, you can sell just like with the sourcing on land. And as you see here, this particular week, because it's double cash money, a full hangar will sell for $5,100,000. And that's excellent. Even on standard pay, you're making $2.5 million with the hangar, and you don't have to pay for any of these crates, unlike the CEO crate warehouse, right? So this is all just gonna be cash money net profit, which is excellent. So when you go to sell your cargo, you'll go through the different prompts and then you'll get to the screen where it says, sell cargo, cancel, air, or land. It's talking about your bonus and just simply select land. 
And there are several different cell missions. And again, all of them are 100% solo friendly, right? You'll get a vehicle like the Rattel and you'll just make some drops. There's also a mission where it's kind of like the Paperboy mission with the Acid Lab, where it'll take you to several different locations, kind of all connected to each other. Just follow the blue smoke. It kind of directs you and where to go, it guides you. And then you'll make your drops on the yellow smoke location. So that's really cool. You get the Apocalypse variant of the Issy right here. And like I said, it's kind of like the Paperboy cell mission with the Acid Lab. So it's really nice. It's kind of cool. You kind of get to check out different parts of the map. Uh, there's also a cell mission that involves you just basically driving a trailer uh, to your drop-off point. Now with this one, you can use the, uh, the Phantom Wedge. Now be careful though because even though the Phantom Wedge is faster and if obviously you've got the wedge on the front uh, where you can kind of just you know bulldoze your way through traffic, but there are particular locations on the drops where it's a little tough to maneuver that Phantom Wedge because it's such a larger uh, you know, vehicle. So keep that in mind, okay? Now here we go. I'm about to sell a full hangar, 50 crates for 5,100,000. And yes, you do get a, a high demand bonus for not only being in a lobby with your friends or crew, but also a public uh, lobby as well. But listen guys, and listen, I know you guys wanna get the extra money for the high demand bonus in a public lobby, but just make sure you check out the lobby before you decide to sell. Make sure there's not a whole bunch of like, you know, jets flying around, Mark IIs. Listen to the, uh, the dialogue inside the actual public lobby. Make sure it's not a toxic lobby, so keep that in mind, okay? So on this particular sale, all I have to do is make five drops with the Rattel. But a little trick that you could use, I call in the Cargo Bob, I hook up the Rattel, right? And I, I fly the Rattel to the first drop. So this may be something you might want to do or might want to use. It'll help save some time, right? You don't have to worry about driving there. But again, you don't have to. Driving there is not that bad either. But I take the Rattel to the very first drop, and then I just use the vehicle itself for the remainder of the actual drops. I just get out to that location, I drop it right there, I make the drop, and I move on to the next one. Now, eventually, you'll get some choppers flying at you. Uh, listen, just take out the door gunner. There'll be two gunners per chopper. Just drop those guys, but don't destroy the chopper because more will spawn in. And those two will just follow you, and no one's shooting at you. You're good to go. I make my last drop. As you see right here, I had 20 minutes to complete this sale. I got this done in roughly 10 minutes. 6,236,100. I got a $1.1 million bonus for being in the crew lobby. I also get some career progress unlocked and completed as well. So, I mean, it's epic, guys. The hangar business is it, all right? It is 100% solo viable. It will work for you guys. Take advantage of this. Get this done. Knock this out. Listen to Tylerius, all right? I'm telling you right now, you can do this. You can get some really good money from this and have a lot of fun with it, all right? Definitely check this out going forward. It's going to be one of the top methods and ways and businesses to make money in GTA 5 online, all right? Now, listen, again, you can still use Rooster, but Rooster is more of a casual grind, right? It's just if you're just, you know, not really focusing on this, you can use Rooster to kind of just store your stuff, and then when it goes double, you can sell it then. But if you're, uh, you know, if you're really trying to grind this hangar and really get the most out of it, because Rooster, is, it's random, you can't pick and choose what crate he goes after, I would just source the narcotics over and over and over again and then stack your warehouse with the best possible uh, source category and make the most money from it, all right? There you have it, guys. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ilsa Rose content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah.